Hello, everybody. Everybody. Everybody needs to hang back and give me a minute. I want to make sure everything on this thing works properly. Hmm. Okay. Gonna have to get rid of some of this stuff to avoid copyright. My goodness. Alright. To the options. Okay, okay. It's not a Wario World loading screen. It just is Wario. It's the only thing I have as a loading screen. Uh, boy. Can you guys hear me? Just for the record. Okay, good. This game does not have what appears to be volume sliders, so I'm just going to have to manually turn off every single song in the game. What I took this from was still a GameCube game, Tpig. I know you're too young to know what a freaking to know what a GameCube is, but still. Okay. Whew. All right, now we just got to uh, Chinese Wrestling Federation. A practice run, you say? Okay, we'll have a, um, we'll have a pre-show fight. We'll have a pre-show fight. Just to make sure everything works out the way that it's supposed to. Everybody, everybody, hold on to your butts. It's very important that I not mess this all up. Yes. Did anybody briefly hear a very loud OH? Yeah, I know there's no sound. There's not supposed to be. Did anybody hear that OH very quickly? If you heard that, that's a good sign.
Okay, you heard the O. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay. All right. We're going to have a pre-tournament uh a fight. Okay. Set up all the rules, make sure everything is good. Yep. Am I still on the rules? I am still on the rules! Ah, oh, that's probably why nothing's happening. Okay, okay. This is gonna be some crazy stuff, let me tell you. Okay. No, not what I wanted in the slightest. Eh, two on two. We're having a tag team match. What is FTWF? Why, it's the Few Trades Wrestling Federation, of course. Did you not see the video that was posted? All right. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Okay. Good, 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 good. There ain't no fighting tacos. No. Get out of here with that. I take umbrage. Let's see. Yep, this seems about appropriate. Bada bing. Bada boom. Okay. Select the proper arena. My arena. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Ah! And just got to make sure everything's good. I will be your announcer and color commentary. Why would Danny DeVito be here? Under under what under what happenstance would such a thing even be possible? Okay. It's not a Germa ref. It's not a Germa Rumble reference. It's just a wrestling reference. Good lord, you people! I swear. I'm the play-by-play. -play. I'm the announcer. I'm the I'm the ref. I'm the everything. I am everything and eternal. Okay. All right. Thank you and good night, sir. Okay. This should, in theory, work. I'm an insane genius. Or maybe I'm an insanely genius. I know not. Regardless. Oh, cramping my leg. Okay. This should work. This should work. Okay. Okay. Who's going to be first? Who's the first ever contestants? Remember, this is not the tournament yet. This is just a... Here we go. Here we go. Coming in on a bicycle. Weighing an accumulative 405 pounds. From Spiral Mountain. Oh, it's Banjo-Kazooie. That's right, everybody. Is the music even playing? It is! Okay, it is playing. Woo! Sorry about that. Had to make sure that was working. <laughs> All right. There's music. Yeah! What are you gonna do about it? Nice bike, guys. I, I, I couldn't have one of them carrying the other on their back, so... There's just insane anime. There's just insane uh, character creation. All right. But who on earth could they be fighting? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because it's time to bring in the next group of dudes. Who's going to be fighting Banjo and Kazooie? Oh, I think you already know. That's right. It's some friggin' YouTube personalities. It's Cox and Crendor. 
That's right. I ain't even gonna guess how much they accumulatively weigh. Doesn't even matter. But they're here. They're grooving. They're moving. They don't give a dingle dank. Let me tell you. It's happening. Oh, yes. It's happening. All right. Just have to keep making sure. Woo! All right. All right. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Friendship. Woo! All right. Crendor. Not wearing shoes. Doesn't need them. They've got, they've, they've got the gumption. They've got the drive. They're ready. Things are about to go down. Oh, yes. All right. All right. Place your bets. Place your bets, everybody. Place your bets for everyone and see how it goes. As I desperately try to play audio manager. And we've got Jesse and we've got Banjo fighting off against each other at the first. Oh, with a swift kick to the gut. Or perhaps lower. I don't really know. Oh, lordy Lou, And then we got a slam, slam a jam -a bam That's something that just happened. Oh, but there was a retaliation. Don't you even worry. As I, um, find music to play in the background. And there we go. All right. Oh, freaking whip. Oh, the teamwork. The teamwork leading to the headbutt. Oh, my golly gorsh. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got ourselves a real slabanaka in the making. Let me tell you. Is he going to capitalize? No, Banjo with a reversal slam jam and his fool down to the ground. Oh, but we got a grapple. Don't you worry. Oh, with a flipsy doopsy. Oh, my goodness. A lot of power behind that flipsy doopsy. Let me tell you, everybody. It appears we've got a neck and neck kind of bout going on here. Oh, that's right. Knack and knack, it's all working out pretty great. Crack a lack, let me tell you. Oh, snap! Oh, my good knowledge. Gosh, how will he ever walk again? I don't know. Oh, with an elbow drop. Sweet, merciful. Butts, that's a second elbow drop. There's just too many elbow drops. By the way, can you guys hear Rusty Bucket Bay in the background? Oh my lord, with a spear! We, I didn't even, I, was, I looked away for half a second and the, the, the tag team partners have emerged. We got Crendor versus Kazooie. What do you mean you don't hear it in the background? What? Hang on. I hear, I hear Rusty Bucket Bay just fine. He can hold his own against a grizzly. Well, maybe if I turn it up a bit. There we go. All right, let's get back to the action. They're fighting. We got Kazooie and Krendor in the headlock. Swift elbow to the... I don't even know what. Oh, Lord, that's a combo if I ever saw one. Wait, that means you guys didn't even hear their musical intros. Oh, that's awkward. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh, with the tag team transition slam a jamma. Oh, are you guys seeing this? Are you seeing the level of chaos that's about to unfold? Banjo, Banjo has gone full bananas up in this place. Ironic, for he is a bear. You'd think he'd be going, uh, I don't know, bear crazy or something. I don't even know. Crendor is very clearly in a bad weight class for himself right now. Oh, with the headbutt to the back of the head. Oh, do you have any idea how badly that's got to hurt? Oh, what's he going to do with the light? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's quite the knee slam a jam. Let me tell you. Okay. Uh, woo! All right. There you go. Crendor with the retaliation. He's happening. Oh, oh, I don't even know what you'd call that move. Some kind of face foot grinder thing. Whatever. I don't know. Oh, he's got him in the corner. Crendor's got Banjo in the corner, everybody. Oh, my God. He's setting up for something crazy. Oh, we go with the flip a doopsy. With the flips a doopsy and th th with the pummels. Crendor's an absolute madman. Sweet, merciful, mamma jamma! I told everybody that this was a slobbernaka in the making. And Kazooie has been pushed back into the ring. Technically, female and male wrestlers are not allowed to uh, compete against each other, but Kazooie remains ambiguous enough to get away with it. By Jove Almighty! Oh my goodness, what is Kazooie even setting them up for? Oh! 
Oh, it doesn't even matter because Krentor reversed it. He reversed it with the s with the boom bam, the boom bam. Boom. What is with Krentor and the constant face pummelings? By golly, Gorsh, let me tell you, this is some this is some crazy nonsense. I should probably switch over to a different song. Let's go to a different one. Boom shaka laka laka loom boom. Oh, we've got a transitional pow bow. It's a good thing Krendor got out of there. He's probably getting tired. Oh, with a double drop to the shoulder. I don't really know how much that would hurt. Doesn't really matter. Jesse's got a bone to pick with, with Banjo. And Banjo gets speared off the apron. Oh my god. I don't even know how that kick connected. But I, I guess Jesse just has some freakish... I don't even know. Some kind of crazy telekinetical powers. And it's all with the voomp. With the voomp and the boomp. Kazooie is in a bad place right now. Oh, but she's able to reverse whatever it is that that guy was about to try and do. Bing, bang, boom, shaka, laka, laka, boom, with the woo! Oh, this birdie bird can fly, ladies and gentlemen. This birdie bird can fly. And with the pen! Oh, but Krendor with the save. That must have been the patented flip flap jump technique. Oh, with the body splash! With the body splash, but it's okay. Banjo coming in with the assist, giving Kazooie time to recover. The teamwork, the drama. The sexual tension of this team is just truly intense. Jesse, not feeling good in his lower back. Oh, with Kazooie with the flip, with the flappity flip flips. You best believe this bird can fly. Oh, oh, she went with the pin, but it was not good enough. Was not good enough, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, can Cox and Krendor somehow make magic happen? Oh my god, I don't believe it. What are they about to do? Are they about to do some crazy shenanigans? I do believe that that's exactly what they are going to do. Krendor flying over the ropes. My god, my god. Oh, oh, he tries to take a swing at Banjo, but it backfires. And Kazooie is tagging. Oh my god, it's like a retaliation Sunday up in here. Holy hell. It's not illegal, there are no disqualifications. Ugh. All right, it's okay, because Krendor and Kazooie are back both in the ring. There's no disqualifications because this game is wicked broken. Holy hell, with the slam -a jam And Krendor with the pin. Jesse, trying to provide backup. Holding off Banjo. Holy dooly on a, ah, hang on. Whoa, gotta change the name. I gotta change the song back. There we go. Cox and Krendor, winners of our very first match ever. This was just the pre-show, ladies and gentlemen. The King of the Rang hasn't even truly began. Let me tell ya. Oh my goodness, golly gosh. To be fair, to be fair, Kazooie did her very, very best. You gotta be honest, she weighs like a grand total of seven pounds. The fact that she was able to hold on at all is actually rather admirable. That being said, can everybody hear this awesome music? With the old damn back again. It's Jesse Cox and the Crendor man. Best friends for life. Best friends for life. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the pre-show because the real action is just about to begin. What do you mean you can barely hear it? Okay. I don't know how you can just barely hear it. It's louder. It's almost louder than I am. It's okay. They are just... The, look. Don't, this does not say anything bad about Banjo and Kazooie. They are simply unused to the wrestling styles. There we go. Okay, see, I turned it up to maximum styles. Sheesh. I was really getting frustrated that nobody could hear this rockin' music. All right. That means it's time for us to start the real King of the Ring tournament. Okay, let's go to... Uh, the brief intermission thingy. Okay, then we turn off all the music. Okay, 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 okay. Now you're all just gonna have to give me a break uh, as I set up the King of the Ring, for I do not have it set up already. Okay, so let's go to do 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 do. We're gonna go to tournaments. Oh man, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys react to who it is that's going to be in this glorious co uh, comp comp competition. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, go ahead and tell them. I'm posting this on my channel once it's all done. All right. Who are we going to put into this? I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you. Except I'm not going to tell you because it's going to be part of the surprise. Okay. All right. Let's see. Wish I could actually randomize these things a little bit better, but we'll do what we can. There we go. We'll put this here. 
Uh, da -da -da. Okay, that's two. This is a full King of the Ring rumble, by the way. Uh, it's not an actual uh, a rumble, but it, it is a full King of the Ring. You guys are going to see a lot of familiar faces, a lot of not familiar faces. It's going to be a pretty swell time. I don't even know what to tell you guys. It's going to be pretty great. It's going to be fantastic. All right. We're going to put you in, and we're going to put you in. And then who else are we going to put in? Who else is going to be thrown into this thing? Yokozuna? I don't think so. But we will put in you. Danny DeVito will not be taking place in this in this tournament. Why are so many people so adamant about Danny DeVito? <laughs> All right, let's see. What else we got here? What else we got here? Okay. Yeah, he'll do great. He'll I'm sure he'll he'll go far in this tournament. This is this is the sound of me figuring out who to put into. Oh man, I wish Kyoto was in this. All right, firm mental note. Make Kyoto so he can uh, show up in here. There we go. We'll put you in. And then, you know what else we're going to do? We're going to put uh, you in, definitely. There we go. You, there you go. Yeah, you got to give the others a fighting chance. Ha ha. He he. Hoo hoo. I see what you did there. How dare you deny Yokozuna. Yokozuna is not a... Is, is not a... um is, is currently not employed. Okay. All right. And then, you know what? We'll put you in, too, because I feel like it... But who else could be possibly... I need one more person. You'll do great. Okay. Alright, guys. King Kong Bundy? <laughs> Alright. Okay. We will not be putting King Kong Bundy into this. Only, only characters... Fictionalized characters. That is in rather bad taste. There are a lot of... There are a lot of dead uh, wrestlers in this game, which is why they're not going to be here. All right. Beowulf should probably be in this, but he's not. All right. So let's... All right. Matchups finalized. I'm now going to pick one of the brackets entirely at random. And that's going to be our very first match. Oh, diggity. Okay. I hope you guys are prepared. Uh, da, 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 da. Just making sure I've got some good musics, because I, I these guys need to come out to music. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, come on now. Um, where's that? Where's that? Where's that real good song? There it is. Okay. 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 Are you guys ready for the first ever match of the Few Trades Wrestling Federation King of the Ring tournament to, to crown our first ever champion? Are you guys ready? I don't think you are. Alright, and by the way, this is all computer controlled. I, I am I'm the play-by-play, -play, but I do not control either combatant. His body is ready. We're good to go, guys. Alright. And then, I'm just going to make absolutely certain that the match rules are not... Yep, everything's good. Everything's great. Make sure we're in the proper arena. My arena. Okay. It's time, everybody. It's time, everybody. Are you prepared for the first ever true entrant to the Few Trades Wrestling Federation? Who could it be? I'm honestly, I can't think of a more fitting person to be the very first person to ever step foot into this ring pr properly. I physically. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Whoa! 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 Hello! Oh crap! <laughs> Whoopsie! Whoopsie! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, whoa! Hang on, technical difficulties! <laughs> God damn it! Alright, that gave it away. Whoops! Mmm! <clears throat> mmm! All right, everybody needs to, uh, everybody needs to just hang on. <laughs> there were supposed to be intros, Nightstar. There were supposed to be intros. <laughs> okay, um, yeah, Botchamania first. <laughs> oh, God damn it. All right, um. So this is awkward. Does anybody know how to make sure that intros play? 
Botchamania! You really messed this up! Oh. Okay, uh, then... M m maybe this will work this time? Hang on. Hang on. Everybody hold on. I don't want this to... Eh, okay! This should be good! Yeah, here we go! That's right, everybody. It's the one, the only... Dartfield! Boy, howdy, I sure hope you hear this awesome theme. Ah! Here we go! Rock and roll! All the way from Cellus, it's Dart Field! Oh, yeah! Here we go! It's Dart, he's here, and he's here to bust some heads open. He is here, he is ready, he is prepared. All right, but who's he gonna fight? Let's all pretend that there's a little bit of ambiguity. Oh, Ziggo Snap Crackle Crackles! <laughs> it's it's okay, Dream Dominion. It's the very first fight of the night. It's Ash Ketchum. He's here and he's ready to fight some Dartfield. That's right. Do you hear the beautiful thing in the background? I don't know if you do. You probably should because Ash is here. He's got the vest. All the way from, from freaking Pallet Town. I wish Dart could transform. This game does have wings in them, so maybe I can make an alternate costume. But let's not, let's try not to destroy Kayfabe, everybody. Alright, he's here to be the very best like no one ever was. To catch them is his real test, but can he catch this dragon type? Let's be honest with ourselves, it's an uphill battle. Oh my good golly gorse! Ash is starting off things pretty fresh. He also turned his hat backwards. That's how you know. That's how you know that things have gotten serious. Oh, with the conkabonk. Ah, daring strategy most indeedly, let me tell you. All right. Oh, elbow to the side of the head. Lordy Lou. Lordy Lou on a Tuesday afternoon. Oh, I don't even know. Is that a... That a I, I should probably learn what all these wrestling moves are called. Yes, I can. I forgot to change the ring. Look. Look, I'm bad at this. Hmm. Yes, you absolutely can. It's another Botchamania. Doesn't matter. Ash vs. Dart. Music's playing. Poppin' pumping. I don't even know how you do that with your legs, but somehow Ash found a way. You'd think he would have started with the thing he used on Mewtwo, but he didn't. But he didn't. Alright, what's Dart gonna do now? Oh, what the- f I don't even know. Some kind of face chop? Oh! Oh, I'm gonna assume that was a punch to the gut. Good thing Dart's wearing armor. Oh, with the hur I think that's a Hurricanrana! I think that might be a Hurricanrana. I do not know. But, oh! And that might be what's called an Irish Whip. Oh, boy. What's he doing? What is Ash's nefarious plan? What's he doing? Oh, he did the flippity flippiter! I didn't even know he could do that! Oh, that was a Frankensteiner! My bad! Doesn't matter! Ash going in! Whole hog ham! It appears Dart is having... No, it was a Hurricanrana! I don't even know! It appears Dart is having a fair amount of trouble trying to figure out how to fight off this ten-year-old boy without his sword, as he is not prone to fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat style. Ah! Freaking chair! That was not the time! Wrestling's happening! Nightstar, you're more than welcome to CoCom whenever you so choose. I am more than happy to allow that. Alright, Dart appears to finally be getting a bit of ground. Everything is coming up. Oh, with the conkles. The conkles and the kicks. Oh, with the quick kicks. Oh, boy. Oh. Alright, it's okay. Ow! Oh, it's okay. Ash has been through significantly worse inexplicably than that. Oh, with the counter and a kick to the gabagow. Oh, lordy Lou. Oh, what's he gonna do? Doesn't even matter. Dart's countered. With the slam jam! Ah! Oh! It's the burning rush! It's the burning rush! 
is that enough to put Ash down for the count? Oh, almost, almost. Dart's coming in hot, as you would obviously probably expect. Whoa, that's some flippy stuff right there. By God, by God, he's broken in half. Except he's not, because he's standing up, and we would get sued. Ah, oh, what's Dart gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's got him on the ropes, literally. He's hanging off the ropes. Oh my good golly gosh, he's not about to do what I think he's about to do. Oh, that's right, he totally is. Oh my lord, he'll never eat solid food again. Ho, oh, oh ho my lord. Ho, oh, 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 never mind, Ash is okay. Oh, he's on his own finisher. Wait. It's the, the, the Tomb Rock Pile Driver. I was trying to remember what I, what I named that. The Tombstone, Tomb Rock. You know the Pokemon. You know the thing, doesn't matter. Although, Ash really probably shouldn't have tried to pull off his technique while it out, out outside of the ring. That was not his... The Spirit Tombstone Pile Driver! There we go. Or the Rock Tombstone Pile Driver. It doesn't matter. S whatever Pokemon move you want to give it to, we'll figure out names for these things later. Ash is looking kind of bad. Oh, boy. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Let's see here. Uh, maybe he needs some, 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 some things, like, uh, let's see, hang on. Uh... Oh, uh, wait, is he down? Is he down? He's not. Okay, hang on. Pokemon. We need a new song. Ash needs a little bit of power up here. Ash refuses to give in, despite fighting a grown man who's clearly much stronger. And Ash is still standing up. Holy dooly. Oh, what do you even... Was that a Canadian destroyer? I don't think it is. Oh, we've got a roll up. We've got a fruit roll up. Oh, oh okay, never mind. Ash's law. <laughs> I um. There we go, everyone. Dart's the winner. Holy dooly! Dart moves on to the next round. Everybody, give a round of applause for Ash. He's ne he barely, very rarely fights without his Pokemon. But he still somehow found a way to get out in here, and he started strong, but it appears he just ran out of energy a little too quickly. Everybody, everybody acknowledge that Ash did a pretty damn good job. Good job. Okay. It was an amazingly good fight against a magic-powered swordsman much older than him. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. All right, so everybody, that's the that's the first match of the night. Put Ash over, guys. Look, if Ash becomes popular enough, he'll go over. But until then, we're at the mercy of this stuff. He gets a participation trophy. Haha. <laughs> All right, so with Dartfield moving on to the next uh, part of the tournament, who will be the next two to enter the ring and fight? This is gonna be a good one. <laughs> All right, let me preemptively get some music. Uh, Quaid up, queued up, whatever it's called. Um... Okay, good, good. All right. He's not going to the bay window. Yeah, everybody, everybody acknowledge Ash's valiant efforts. Okay, okay. I should actually... Um... Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't screw up on me now. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. All right. Am I going to set the arena? Yes, I'm going to set the arena. Mm. Do not worry about it. Okay. Make sure the intros are on so we don't botch it up. Yes, the intros are on. Select the arena. Let's get back to our actual arena. The one I designed. Hello there, Young Samurai 18. Are you prepared for the second match of the night of this King of the Ring tournament to crown our first ever champion? I don't know if you are. All right, let's do this. 
It's Tim. It's Tim time. Tim the to Tim the Tool Man Taylor. Let's do this. All right. Let's hope that it actually. Wait, hang on. I ain't taking any chances. I said that I said that the intros are on, but I want to make sure. Just, just, just give it a yeah, Tim Tamps. Okay, no, it's good. We're good. We're rocking. It's time. Who could this young warrior be? Oh, I think you know the answer to that. It's freaking Yosuke Hanamura! All the way from Inaba! He's, he's banging, he's jamming, he's cracking like a ding dong banging. Oh, she got snap cracks. Oh, are you seeing these funky dance moves? Yeah! Woo! His, his headphones are phasing through his hair. He's this Captain Resentiment. It's Yosuke! With the, with the badass dance moves, as always. As that is how he rolls. Dance into the backside of that television, as you do. Yeah! Here we go! Yeah! That would be way better if it had pyro, but it doesn't! <laughs> doesn't matter! It does not matter! Dance on my soul! Woo! It's Yosuke! He's here to fight! He's here to roll! He's here to m make everybody realize that he is the cool guy and not just his, uh, the sidekick to a different dude. But who will his opponent be? Well, that's an interesting question, actually. Because here he is right now! Boom, 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 boom! It's Spick! It's Spike! Holy dooly! He's here! He's looking for apes! Luckily, for everyone involved, he is, in fact, uh, not fighting an ape right now. So it should be on even terms. Ah! This is not going on right. Shut up. It's Spike from Ape Escape. Can you dig it? He's here. Have you found, have you seen any apes? Is there one over there? Is there one over here? I don't know quite certain, my good friends. I do not know. Yusuke does have a tendency to monkey around. So maybe, <laughs> just maybe everything might be coming up in Spike's favor. I don't honestly know. All humans and apes may be somewhat related, but not in the way that everyone wishes they were. So whatever. Either way, Spike is here, and he is prepared to go the full distance. But will he? I don't know. I'm setting up the music. Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> Is based on a Monkey King, does that count? Does Yosuke look like Ryoji to you? Holy hell! Wait, it looks like they were both hurt by that attack! I'm not entirely sure what Yosuke just did, but he apparently hurt himself at the same time. That's a bit of a problem. And now I dare to believe that his shoulder has been dislocated. Oh, with the grind of the shoe. The shoe grind. Ryuji isn't here, although he might be someday. Who knows? Oh! Oh, Lord! Straight to the jaw, right on those spiky, spiky anime spikes. Oh, shush. The game's been out for 30 years. Okay. All right, Yosuke. Come on. Use your quickness, your swiftness, your strength and power. Oh, never mind. You got reversed. Okay. Oh, no. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? He's trying to steal his shoe! Ladies and gentlemen, Spike is trying to steal Yosuke's shoes! And he's doing flips to prove it! Holy hell! Yosuke is getting the ever-loving tar kicked out of him! Whoopsie doodles! Oh well, maybe he'll pull a comeback. We don't know. Come on, Yosuke! Come on, I gave you better moves than this! Oh, with the retaliation, Yosuke strikes back. Oh, he's doing his own flip -a doos I believe that's referred to as a DDT. And whoa! Okay, good. That's the thing about Yosuke. He may not be strong, but boy howdy, he's just a, he's a slippery customer. Are you ever going to be able to even catch him? I mean, uh, Spike did catch him that, that, that one time. But that's okay. 
Oh my goodness, I think I think Yosuke just popped comeback. He is! Oh my god! He's summoning Jiraiya! He's going ham! He is going honey roasted ham! Where is he even going right now? I don't know! Who are those guys in the booth? They don't work here! He is he is ripping apart uh, those two gentlemen's uh, VIP table! I can only assume that's what that is! <laughs> oh my god, Yosuke appears to have reached his um, tolerance limit! Oh my goodness, he is... Y Yosuke is a little bit upset about constantly being wailed on, and he has decided to go on the offensive. There you go. Right to the larynx, probably. He's going for a pin! Is it good enough? No, that's a one count. But it doesn't matter, because Yosuke's got another DDT! Or a rolling neck breaker, I don't even know. Ah! Oh lordy! Oh, Spike is, Spike is upset about things. Oh, he did! I think that's a scoop slam! Oh, he's looking for apes, everybody! Watch out! Spike's on the lookout! Oh my god! Oh my god! It's the magic uh, punch! Or maybe it's the stun club! It doesn't matter! Is it good enough? No! Yosuke has somehow managed to survive. It's the... Oh my god! It's the Whisper and Inaba! Holy crap, people! Are you hearing... All of this noise. Ho! 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 My goodness! Oh! He's got another move! What's he gonna do? I don't even know what that one's called! It's like a face buster or something! But Josuke is fine! He's doing the rolling kicking thing of bobbers, And he's going for the pin! Josuke is definitely getting ourselves there! I should probably replace Spike's uh, his finisher with a punch and call it the magic punch because that's a lot better than the stun club. Doesn't really matter! Yosuke literally giving Spike the boot and knocking him straight out of here. Mike, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we are watching a high schooler bully a, uh, a grade schooler. <laughs> Knee to the face. Ow! 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 That was my gut. That was my, my, my giga to guts. And DDT! Okay. I don't know why Yosuke, a gentleman, helping his opponent back up before re-entering the ring. Spike, uh, clearly slightly concussed as he has trouble finding his way back into the ring. Oh, he hurt his wrist. How will he hold his weird kunai things? Oh, Yosuke. Oh, I'm kicking out at one. Holy crap. Yosuke, do you have what is needed? Oh, my God. Oh, my assortment of gods. Holy hell, Yosuke actually won! Ladies and gentlemen, oh my, oh, whoa, hold on, I was not expecting that! <laughs> Holy crap! Yosuke Hanamura coming from behind to freaking obliterate! Why did he pull apart that table? He never used it. Perhaps he was using some kind of mind games. I don't know. Yosuke, one step further into proving to the world that he's not some useless nobody who fell in a garbage can that one time. Nay, he's his own man with his own crazy powers. I don't know why he's wearing the glasses, though. He's not in the, the, the shadow world. Doesn't matter! Also, he's got a pretty bad complexion. He was the... Look, no one can't say... Nobody can out say that Yosuke was not the underdog of that situation because he was getting his head kicked in for the majority of that fight. Whew! My goodness. My goodness, everybody. That was a good fight. That was a that was actually a really good fight. Uh, <clears throat> and with that, Yosuke Hanamura has returned, or not returned, he has moved on to the second round of the tournament. Which means it's time for round three. Who could possibly be the next contestants on this particular battlefield? Are you guys prepared? Oh lord, this one's gonna be silly. <laughs> Who would have thought? I mean, yeah, it's only the second fight of the night, but Yosuke has definitely set the bar. Alright, make sure entrances are on. Make sure... The arena is good. 
At some point, I'm definitely going to have to do those things, Ultra Bottomus. Okay, are you guys ready for round three? I hope so, because now I have to go and find some uh, music. There we go. We'll give that. And then we're going to need a little something else for the other guy. It's too bad, man. There's a lot of fights. This is the King of the Ring tournament. You bought your tickets. Now you got to sit down and watch it. All right. I almost gave away. Who it was that was about to enter the ring, but I didn't. Let's see. Just making sure that this is proper. And it is. Okay. Goodbye, brother missile. Yes, this will be archived and even uploaded on onto the YouTube channel. Whew, all right. All right. Everything's prepared. It's time for round three. Or rather, match three of round one. All right. Let's make sure that everything's working out good. Everything is working out swell. Let's see. I have so many different things I have to manage. It's working! It's working! Eh! Eh! Ow! Oh, that's right! Here he is! Ladies and gentlemen, are you prepared to be refreshed and quenched and just enjoy life in general? It's Pepsi Man! He's here! He's wearing some kind of Pepsi-themed leotard. His, his necklace is made out of pop caps. I don't really understand what this guy is all about. Okay, but he's here and he's ready to fight. But who is he going to go up against? You might wonder. You might ponder. You might ponder and wonder. Well, ponder and wonder no more, for they has returned. Did you think perhaps that he was dead? You were incorrect in your assessment, for he is standing here in the ring right now. It's Segata Sanjiro. Oh my god, Arch Talco is here! How'd that even happen? Doesn't matter! Sigata Sanjiro has arrived! It's a battle of the pure legends! With the flips, the kicks, the kicks and flips, the chair breaking behind me, making me fall out. It's not, it's gonna be a real problem for us one of these days. Boy howdy. Okay, well, with everybody here, uh, I need some other, let's just, let's do, let's do this song. And the fight has begun! And Sega's starting out strong! Okay, I got the song prepared! Good lord, <laughs> Sega Sa I, I haven't been looking because I was looking for music. Sega Sanjiro is going bananas. Yes, I'm glad you enjoy Pepsi Man Talco. Continue to root for him as he is currently in need of support. As Sega is starting out strong, but Pepsi Man appears to be uh, pretty happy about all the support that he is being given right now. And now Pepsi Man is just chilling outside the ring, taking a break. Maybe. Segata taunting to the crowd. As if to say, yo, uh, he's not playing Sega Saturn. Gonna have to break his fingers. And when he does, how will Pepsi Man drink Pepsi? How will he open the pop tap? I don't know, guys. This is a very... This is a problem. This is a problem for both. This is... This is a battle of the brands. Guys that exist for the sole purpose of advertising things. <laughs> Okay, though. Everything seems to be in order. I'm keeping track of, like, the music, the fight, and the chat all at the same time, and it's proving difficult. Okay. It's all good, everybody. We got this. We got this. 
Pepsi Man going with the Irish Whippoo. Oh, never mind. That was no Irish Whippoo. That was uh, some kind of Whippy Kicky. Uh, the Whippy Kicky, I believe, is the technical term used to describe that particular motion. Oh, he's got him in an armbar, maybe? I don't know, but it hurt. Ouch. Segata has clearly underestimated the power of Pepsi. He's going to have to start taking things a little more seriously. Oh, with the with the with the stepping on the face with the grindy pinties. Oh, that's just not cool. That's not nice. That is. Oh, he missed his flip a duple. The flip a dee, -dee. the flip a dee floop floop. Oh, and, and, okay. And apparently, Segata's already about to go bananas up in here. He, I think that's an axe kick. Is that one of his finishers? Why would I give that to him? I don't know. But it's not even a one count. Come on, Segata. Whoa. The, ro the, the roll in the... I don't know, because Sega, Sonic the Hedgehog, so I gave him a rolling move, I guess. I don't know. Here we go. And the ref's butt has blocked whatever it is that Pepsi Man just did. And another face-grinding foot to the face. Jesus on a bicycle. Pepsi Man has had enough of all these shenanigans. He's ready to... He's ready to rock. Segata is also a savior. It's a battle of heroes, no doubt. Oh, and with some kind of double-handed axe, thumple bumple, the thumper. Yeah, let's call it that. I don't. Okay, I don't know how a human being could even do that. Oh, oh, he fell to the ground with the punch and the ouch. Lordy Lou, Lordy Lou. I think I gave him a some kind of some kind of twist, and I, I call it the Pepsi twist. I don't know. Oh. Oh, he's, oh boy, he's popping, he's popping them tabs. He's drinking the Pepsi, guys. He's going full crazy. He's Pepsi man up. Oh, Lord, you, you are drinking Pepsi. That's not good. I'm going to have to beat the Pepsi into you. That's what's about to happen here. Boom, shakalaka. And just in case you weren't aware, I also keep Pepsi in my legs. What are you going to do? Is Sega to down and out? He isn't! He's fizzing up! That's a that's a way better one. Thank you for that one, Nightstar. We're gonna go with that. He's fizzing! He was fizzing! Segata is holding on for dear life, and we all appreciate that. But can he handle the pure ferocity of a man on a mission to make every single member of this audience drink Pepsi all at once? Oh lordy! I have never seen a man so shaken up. I have never seen a man so full of combination. I assume Pepsi Man is like a man made out of aluminum and he's just full of Pepsi, like he doesn't have organs. I can only assume that's the case. Holy hell, it's a Kaniku Buster! Well, I mean, if you broke Pepsi Man's non-existent neck, maybe you've won. No! Although we have an even game! A man powered by sugar and carbonation, and a man powered by the righteous fury of a guy who's just really not that big a fan of a Nintendo. Oh, lordy. Lordy, this is just happening. It keeps going. Is Segata already... Is he, is he turned this around? He somehow has, everybody! Segata, Sanchiro, with the... With the... With the Superfly. Oh, my god. Good lord. Those were some of the biggest hits of the night, everybody. But it appears that Segata's love for the Sega Saturn Shio is just too much for even the Pepsi Man to properly handle. But by Jove! The Genesis Buster, that's a great name. Segata Sanchiro, Segata Sanchiro, he beat the hell up out of Pepsi Man, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, let's be honest, gentlemen and more gentlemen. Farewell, Anime Geek. I wish you would stay here to see even more crazy action. But, I mean, if you gotta eat, you gotta eat. Nightstar, are you still in the chat? Okay. As I set this next one up, I'm going to have to, uh... I need a breather, okay? This is a lot more energy than I am actually... I'm actually used to... Oh, then I am used to being able to exert. Alright. Oh, you want to keep Sagata's theme going? Okay.
300 IQ per hour, you're still here because you're my son. Clearly. Alright, I hope you guys are ready for what might be the single most random matchup that I could poss that could physically possibly even happening. Like, holy hell, you guys thought Dart versus Ash was weird? No, 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 I don't think so. Ah, ah, I just punched my microphone across the room! Alright, um, let's see here. Gonna need them themes. Gotta get the theme music. Theme music. Okay. Sekata Sanchiro's wonderful theme shall continue. For the time being. Until I can get some... Okay. I hope I can find this one song because it's the best possible... Song for him. Yes. Okay. Okay, everything's good. Even more random than Princess Alessia versus Kratos from God of War. A little bit. Although I... Okay, before the match even starts, I'm going to tell you guys. Alright, we're going to have to stop Segata now. Don't worry, Segata. You shall return for the second round. Okay. Are you guys ready for a fight between a man of punches and a man of kicks exclusively? Because that's who they are. One man is all about the punches, the other is all about the kickus. Who could they possibly be? I don't even know, except I do, because life is just beautiful. Okay. Okay. Hope you guys are ready, because the, the fourth match of the night is about to happen. Wait. How on earth did... I choose to ignore that. We wait to make sure that the intros play, and they do! I don't know how you guys managed to actually guess this one, and I'm kind of upset by that! <laughs> okay, whatever, he's here! It's Little Mac! He has been lifting, evidently! Macow! <laughs> Can you handle this? Seriously, of all the characters in the history- yeah, He is a man of- Do you have any idea how many people are known for punching? <laughs> and you just immediately get the right one. Now it's time for a man exclusively about kicks. As soon as his little Mac is done posing for the crowd. He's a boxer, not a wrestler. Not sure how this is going to go down, but it'll be great. It'll be fun. Don't worry about it. Okay, guys, I don't think you're ready for this next guy. I don't think you're ready. I don't think you're ready. In fact, I don't think most of you will even recognize him, but I don't care. Because it's the Homestar Runner. Oh, he's here from Free Country, USA. Weighing, God only knows. It's Homestar Runner. He's here. He appears to have lost the buzzer off his hat. It's the no-armed whitey! It's the jack -em up kid! It's so many things! It's... Homestar! It was a real pain figuring out how to make him have invisible arms, so I hope you enjoy this. I also gave him a purely exclusive kicking moveset. Uh, let's see. We need... We need some music, don't we? Okay, hang on. Here we go! It's music time, ladies and gentlemen. The man, the myth, the marshmallow. I haven't been paying attention to the fight. What's going on? Yes, Homestar Runner and Strong Bat are the same thing, you absolute butt. Lordy Lou, that was a hell of a kicking combo. How is he invisible? The world may never know. Is it telekinetics? I haven't the slightest. Also, thank you. I did. I the the server for uh, Creator Wrestlers was dead, so I had to actually make every single one of these characters from scratch. So adding new characters is going to be slightly difficult, but we're gonna make it happen anyway. In a battle, but ah, there we go. 
Oh, right, I also gave Homestar some headbutts because, I mean, like, there's only so many kicking moves in the game. Holy hell! Is this about to be a thing? No, it's not. Homestar is too scared to possibly even think about doing that as he runs back to the ring. Yeah, I mean, he is Homestar Runner. He runs. That's what he does. Nightstar, set up your system so everything works out great, and you'll be the you can be the color commentator alongside me in the next episode. Oh, holy hell! With the stippity stamp stamps. I could add the kid from Limbo, but I don't entirely know what exactly he would be able to to do. I don't know if he's worth it. I don't know if he's actually like worth the investment. Regardless, we're talking about Little Mac versus Homestar Runner. Homestar. I was gonna say Homestar seems really tall, but then I realized he's fighting Little Mac. <laughs> So, I guess that's sort of how that works. Alright. Oh, boy! I'm pretty sure that's not a legal move in boxing. But you, 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 you gotta you, you do what you can, okay? Like, Little Mac is, a, is, is in an adjustment period. He's not used to uh, grapples and the like. He's all about the punching. Homestar has arms, they are invisible. Or maybe he has telekinesis. I don't know. Let's okay, well that song's over. Um, you know what we need? I'll tell you what we need. Good lord, Homestar is getting pummeled in the head. It's a good thing he is used to this. What is Little Mac even planning? What is this? Oh, he hit him with his... Why, why do you have that move, Mac? Okay, doesn't matter. He smacked him with the butt. Homestar has gone through significantly worse. He once had a dumpster thrown on his head. You think it's going to take just your... I, I can only assume very well-toned butt to stop him? I think not. Good sir, I think not. Oh, okay, but then again, this might hurt a lot. Okay, throwing in some theatrics for some reason. And an elbow drop, using those arms. Oh, Homestar is going full, full honey roasted ham. Can he get his super duper comeback style off? Uh, probably not. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. It's probably unlikely. Little Mac is. My goodness. Okay, but Homestar is hanging on. Oh wait, he's doing it, ladies and gents. He's he's doing it. He's making the kicks to happen. He's doing the flips because it's midnight. Homestar pulling things off. Is he about to pull off a finisher? Does he have a corner finisher? I don't remember what Homestar's finisher is. Uh, yes, maybe this is a finisher. I don't, I have no idea. What is happening? Oh, it's the coast to coast. I know that one. It's the free country to USA. Oh, oh. But Homestar knows how to use those legs. He's wearing the long pants. I, I tried actually not having him wear any pants, but it looked really weird. Oh no. Oh, Little Mac. Little Mac. Oh, oh, we've got finishers missing left, right, and Sunday. He's giving them, he's giving them the whippity waps. He's giving them the kickity cacks, the clickity glooks. He's making stuff happen. Oh, but, oh no. Oh no, I think we're looking at the star punch, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, that's, that was kind of overselling at Homestar, but thank you. Probably not the most surprising uh, ending. Let's, let, let's, let's be entirely honest. <laughs> Homestar fought his little heart out. And don't worry, the jack -em up kid will, in fact, return once again. He will enter the ring again, but today it's Little Max Day. The good times are over. I am really tired. I think I need water. It's okay. We're still going to keep going, though. I don't even care. Little Mac has defeated the, his kicking adversary. Oh boy. Okay. Back to loading. It's time for the fifth match. Did I stop the themes? I did. Okay. It is a very disappointing loss. But Nightstar, you gotta give him credit. 
Homestar fought his little, little itty bitty heart out. Let there be no doubt. All right, it's time for the next match. I gotta set this thing up though. You think just because I can make invisible limbs that automatically means that Rayman has to be on the on the on the thing? That's 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 that's, that's like racist or something, probably. Okay, making sure that everything's good in the hood. There we go. There's got to be a way to make this the default arena so I don't have to keep doing that over and over again. Doesn't matter. It's all good. It's all good. Are you guys having a good time? Enjoying yourselves? I certainly hope so because I'd like to do this a lot. Just have my own wrestling show. Okay, let's see though. Okay, hang on. Okay. Yeah, I guess that'll do. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Unmute the thing so everybody can hear. Okay. Okay. I hope you fools are ready. I hope you guys are ready for the fifth match of the night. Ta! Yeah, well, that's because the WWE is terrible, but their game makes for a decent, you know, bouncing board. All right. Making sure everything's working. It is. Here we go. That's right, everybody. That's right, everybody. Here he comes. The flat dog. The, the good boy. The doggo of Bago. The king of the Siam. The everything you want in life. It's Parappa the Rapper. He's got to believe, y'all. Ah! Freaking chair! He's not horrifying, he's a beautiful boy! He's the good boy! He's doing what needs to be done! I made him as flat as a, po <laughs> as a person could possibly be to match his weird dimensions! But who could he possibly be about to fight? Who even knows? Probably this guy! That's right! What? You thought when I said that, it meant Rayman wasn't in this game? You fool! I can make invisible limbs! Of course Rayman is here! Because of course! God. Oh lordy. Lordy Lou. It's Rayman, with all of his various invisible parts. <laughs> this wasn't gonna be the next match, but then somebody decided to, to bring up Rayman, and I was like, well, I mean, he's in it, so... I might as well bring him out now. Okay, guys, place in your bets. In the battle of n no limbs versus believing in oneself, who will triumph? Okay, I can barely see what was happening, but Parappa is starting off strong considering he has, like, the muscle mass of, like, I don't even know. A man that's been on an abandoned island chained to a wall for 17 years. Doesn't matter. You just keep waiting there, Dominion. Well, it'll happen. I believe in you, Parappa! But Rayman is no slouch. He's known for his, uh, his, his punches. Then again, good lord. Parappa, bring it on. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to beat the power of positivity and uh, self-fulfillment. 
bump, and that's how you do that. That's how you do that. You give them the bit, bat, boobity, bat, bat, boo, bam, boom. Oh, oh, Lord. Parapity strong, please nerf. Oh, Lord, he's clipping through the ring. He's a little too flat for his own good. He is, he is phasing into an entirely different dimension altogether. Oh, Parappa with the mind games. Parappa with the mind games, but, ra oh, but Rayman's having none of it. That's true. Okay, right, Rayman with bad death perception, apparently. Whatever. All right, what's next? Parappa throwing him back into the ring. Bap! There you go. That's a smart move, Parappa. Hit him in one of the few body parts he actually has. All right, we come on, keep it going, keep it going. Oh lord, we got the stop clock and blop him. We got the blop clock and and shock him. Lordy Lou. Oh yeah, these two are from the PlayStation One. I didn't even intend that. I chose these characters at random. You make it sound like this department is nothing but faces. You, oh, how little do you truly know? That's true. When you're fighting a two-dimensional opponent, and not in the, you know, the personality sense, but in the character sense, well, you're, you're definitely going to have a hard time grabbing them. Let's see. Did that song end? Do I need to switch it over? No, it's still going. It's good. Oh, holy hell, he did a flip. That's cool. Parappa, obviously pretty good when it comes to um, acrobatics. Parappa is not from the Wii. What is that even supposed to mean? He's from the PlayStation 1. He's never been on Nintendo. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> and people on YouTube are going to be confused that I keep talking to people in the, the, the Twitch chat. Oh, well. Rayman, using what body mass he does have to his advantage. Seems like the power of confidence and self-motivation uh, is pr starting to falter just a wee bit. You gotta hit those uh, proper commands there, Parappa. Oh, goddy! That was a headbutt if there ever was one. Okay, that was a two. Although the number didn't come up. That's a little odd. Doesn't matter. Shh, but yeesh. It's true. They should be watching the stream. Oh, Lord, Parappa might be completely doomed. Yo, oh, it's the wind him up punch! Is it done? Parappa! Still believing in himself despite the odds. Despite the odds of it all. Come on, Parappa! Do it for Lammy! Not for Sunny though, no one cares about her. Oh my goodness, it's the the flip of the champions. No, it's not. Perhaps it's never been on a Nintendo console. Stop talking about that. All right, Parappa is definitely doing his best to keep things going. Okay, that was his arm, though. Okay. Oh, boy. Parappa, shirt, exact same color as the ring. Not intentional. Nightstar with the heel commentary. Good lord, I guess that makes me the face commentator. Rayman is just, is just going absolutely insane. He is going full Nutter Butter Sandwich Cookies up in this place with another headbutt. Oh, I dare believe that the power of self-belief was not good enough for this. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Fair enough. I don't really know how heals work entirely. Either way. Rayman, yeah, Rayman is, you know, he's he's also a kind of a face, but at the same time, he's more of a, I'd say he's more of a, I don't know. I'd say he's more of a chaotic neutral. And Rayman moves on to the second round. I think there's only two rounds left of the first, uh, two fights left of the first round. Hachi, Hachi, Machi, Mochi. All right.
Hey, Arch Talco, are you still there? Because if you are, you're gonna like the next match. Like, I, I'm, I'm relatively certain of that fact. All right, yeah, okay, he's good, he's good. <clears throat> it's true, Parappa did have a, a, bit, a bit of trouble actually landing blows on something that does not have a great, a large amount of body mass. So fair enough. Oh, he's gonna like the next match pretty good. All right, make sure everything's good. I'm always up for roster suggestions in the comment section. <clears throat> Okay, okay, it's time for the next match. We're gonna jump straight up into this one We're gonna jump straight into this one boyos. It's about to go down. Are you down to clown? Because the clown's about to go down to town Buy some milk, maybe I don't even know what I'm going on about anymore Here we go! That's right, everybody. All the way from I don't even know where exactly. It's been a long time since I've played Phantom Hourglass. It's Lineback. You know it. Bada bing, bada boom. Currently largest heel in the room. <laughs> bing, bang, boom, shaka, laka, laka, ding. It's the Lineback. Oh, that's right. He's got the style. I like the cut of his chip. <laughs> yeah, I know he's from Hyrule, but like, I don't know. They, they changed his, they changed it. Hyrule will like drown. It happens. I needed, a, I needed a Zelda character with a lot of personality and well, Link just doesn't have a lot of personality. So, hey, we're going with Lineback. But who could his mighty opponent be? Uh, there we go! Oh, hey, John would actually be a pretty good one. Either way, it's the next competitor! It's the robot from Planet Bomber! It's friggin' Bomberman! Yo, wow, he's got the pyro! That's true, Tingle does have a lot of personality. I don't know why I thought of Flying Back first! Either way, it's Bomberman now! Here he is! He's here to cause some chaos. He's here to blow some stuff up. That's all he really cares about. You just saw Rayman and Parappa the Rappa fight, and you're calling Bomberman the most terrifying thing in the game. Not entirely sure where that's coming from. Not a fan. Not a fan of such accusations. All right, everybody, place in your bets. Lineback versus the Bomberman. I should have Ruby characters in this show. I'll see what I can do. He is very shiny. He's a robot. You have Nobody ever seems to remember the fact that Bomberman is a robot. Oh! Oh, Lordy Lineback going in for the full the, the full song and dance number, and it just backfired immediately. Bomberman doing everything he can. Here, your yeah, Lineback is clearly a man of a of outstanding moral fiber. Clearly, that is definitely his. He's definitely not the smuggest of smug heels. Oh, hey, all right though. Lineback getting in some offense. He's getting stuff going down. Why are you calling Lineback Wind Waker Tony Stark? How dare you? He's his own man. Yeah, you better like his outfit because it was a pain to make. Let there be no doubt. Oh, all right, not entirely sure how you managed to do that. You didn't even really get a full hold on Bomberman there. I guess you. All, everyone has at least mild telekinetic powers to help with their grappling moves. I know not. I know not how this be. And Quonkatonk! Ow, okay, that's, that was quite the kick. 
That was a kick straight to the face. Lordy Lou. What is Bomberman planning to do to this man? Bomberman to the lineback man. Huh. You know, if... if, if um, I just realized if Mega Man ever gets in this, he kind of has a built-in rivalry with Bomberman, doesn't he? Does it matter? I'm sorry, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> ah, quick kick to the, to the gut. Well, okay, that seemed like an unnecessary amount of force for not that big of an impact, but hey, committed. I made these characters about a year ago. That's what I meant when I said that stuff. <clears throat> this should have, this, this first episode should have aired a long, long time ago. But I decided to change things. You know what, because I'm getting more adventurous. I'm getting bold. There is no Rockman, there is only Mega Man. Holy hell, that was up. You make him walk the plank with that. No Holy hell, Lineback can teleport. Ladies and gentlemen, Lineback can teleport. Either that or he flash stepped. I don't know how Bomberman's exactly going to be able to continue this fight considering Lineback has somehow, at some point, learned how to tear the fabric of space and time. Like, straight through that space and time. And I, I'm not sure what Bomberman bumped into. My guess would be the chair, but that was too far away. He did a time skip. Oh, lordy lord. It's a, this, this is a slobber knocker if there ever what was one. Oh! Now that's a soup play. That's a soup play if there ever was a play to soup. There's just so much soup. There was originally a glitch in this game that let male and female wrestlers fight each other, but it's long gone now, and I don't know how I'd ever be able to, to get it. So we're going to have to have separate divisions, but there are female wrestlers in this show, I assure you. Oh! He's throwing the bombs! He's throwing the bombs! It's an exploder suplex! It's about to explode! Jesus! Whoa! That was a lot of shakes! Good lord, his tailbone might not even function anymore. No one cares about what Mega Man's original name was. Ah, he got him in the roll-up! The roll-up didn't work. That was a hell of a blow, though. Damn. He made the entire freaking... I don't even know, man. He made the whole building shake with that throw. Bomberman ain't out yet, but Lineback showing truly bizarrely large amount of tenacity, all things considered. Yeah. The ring didn't collapse because neither of these guys are super heavyweights. You have to have two super heavyweights fighting in order for a ring to break. Oh, Lord, Bomberman's bombing man up. Here we go. He's making stuff happen. Oh, Lord. Lineback might be completely and utterly doomed in every capacity. I assuming the ref gets out of the way. Oh boy, here we go, everybody. I don't know if Linebeck's gonna be able to handle this nonsense. I gotta be honest, that's one of the less impressive ones. Oh my god, Linebeck using his comeback to come back from Bomberman's comeback. Although ultimately it appears that it did absolutely nothing. All right, well, Linebeck tried. Lineback tried to turn things around. It. It did not work. It did not work. There are no such thing as rope breaks in this federation because they make this. They make fights go on for 30 minutes longer than they probably should. Trust me, I've, I've played enough of this game to know all of its extraordinarily major bugs and what to avoid. We have to make it no DQ and no rope breaks, otherwise... Like, otherwise the matches literally just don't end. Especially when it comes to CPUs fighting each other. Again, let's not break KP, though. <clears throat> and wait. I do believe there's only one match left in the first round. Well, he didn't know that. Yeah, fair enough. And... 
if I do believe. Oh wait, no, there are two! There are two fights left in the first round. Oh my goodness. Yeah, rope breaks suck. All right, well, let's see. Um... Okay. Everybody give me a minute. Everybody give me a minute. I gotta make sure I get the exact right theme I need for this dude. It's of absolutely mortal imper imp imperative. It's important, okay? Like you guys said you wanted heals, man. I gotta heal. Let's see. Yep, that'll do it. Okay. Are you guys prepared for the next match? Because I want to see some energy. I want to hear some hype. I want to hear people say, Hey, show me the next match already, you dingus. Come on now. Give me that energy. Give me that hype. Give me that style. Give me what I need. Come on now. Alright, we got one hype. Everybody. Anybody who with the willingness to type into the chat, give me your hype. Give me the hype. Okay, that seems like a pretty good amount of hype. Okay! It's time! Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself, because it's time for the first real deal true heel of the Federation. All the way from the Wampa Islands, people. Dr. Neo Cortex. I don't know if you guys are truly prepared for the evil this man and his giant hands are ready to inflict upon his opponents. I'm actually really proud of how his, uh, his model turned out. What do you mean there's no music? Yes, there is. Shut up. <laughs> I forgot to unmute it. The music was always there. It was never gone. Cortex's neck looking kind of creepy. Not gonna lie. Ooh, let's not look at that. But who will fight him? I'll tell you who's gonna fight him. This guy's gonna fight him. Mario, are you over there? Mario, baby, you over there? Oh yeah, you are over there. Okay, cool. All right, I know where Mario is, everybody. Everything's gonna be okay. Mamma me, where even am I? Oh lord, oh lord, that was a scurry. Oh lord. Oh boy, oh dear. Okay, everything should be okay. I think, maybe, I don't know. Okay. You gotta show off for the crowd. <laughs> Why with all the explosions? Why with all the explosions? <laughs> Mario, I'm scared. Mario, I'm so scared. I don't know if I can do it. Oh boy, here we go. It's time for the next match of the night. It's Cortex versus Luigi! It's a battle of very large feet. Let's be honest with ourselves. Oh! Luigi doing what he can. Luigi with the with the spinaroonie back breakaroonie.
Oh boy. All right, Luigi's got the height advantage, but Cortex has the repressed issues advantage. He is an angry man with an angry plan. Lordy, he is he is quick with them fists. Them fists I'll be kicking. Mad style, yo. But Luigi is not gonna give up so easily. They call him the Ouija boy. Cause he's gonna squeegee your windows. I don't even know if that works as a threat, doesn't matter. Cortex, giving it his all with surprising physical ability, considering he's usually all about the brain game. And with an elbow drop straight to the... I don't even... I don't really entirely know. Oh, but Luigi. Luigi is prepared. He's got style. He's got grace. He doesn't have a funny face. But that's not going to stop him today. Like, oh, you think you're funny, do you? Let me tell you, you're not. You take that. I kick you in your in your, in your thigh. That's gonna make you walk funny. Oh, Lordy Luigi lifts. Luigi, deceptively strong. Let it be known. Ah, oh, okay, quick. Ah, oh, man, it's a quick kick to the grundle. It's okay. My, I'm totally unbiased when I say Luigi, please win. That's really gonna make things difficult, ain't it? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Another elbow drop with a, with an elbow with the consistency of maybe a twig at best. Luigi doing his very best to make things happen. Oh lordy, he threw out the chickity chickity chop styles. Nightstar, don't talk to me like you're not biased, okay? Shush. You shush your Twitch face. Oh, Lordy Cortex is just going absolutely bananas. Okay, that seemed that seemed a little unnecessary. It looks like he could have probably avoided the first part, but that's okay. It doesn't matter with a splash of the body. Luigi is starting to feel the pain that this scientist is bringing down. Oh, Lordy Louie fell right out of the ring. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. Luigi with a retaliation. That's what I thought. Boom. There you go. Try using your big fancy brain parts now, mister. You can't. Oh, wow, that was actually a successful body slam or splatty splash or whatever. Oh, Luigi onto the top rope. What's he going to do? Okay. Okay, that was actually kind of... That was, that was legitimately impressive. I'm not entirely sure what Luigi just did. Does it matter? Oh, it's the Luigi Tornado! The Luigi Tornado! Is it enough to put the Brainiac down? It totally is! Inexplicably! That worked out! Luigi is the winner! Holy crap! Did not think that would work! But it did! Luigi proceeds to the next round. The Green Tornado. Mr. L, the Tower of Power. Too sweet to be sour. He's ready to dance. Crackle Pop and all those other Rice crispy treats that you love deep down in your soul. He's here to, to do all of those things. It all started with a missile drop kick. It was a good day indeed. The best day for Ouija that there ever what what was. I'm Luigi, number one. Is that what this is what the people always say? Intermission. No, shut up. What? Interruptions! Woo, okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. All right, everybody. Are you ready for the final match of round one? The last two combatants that you do not recognize. That you do not know yet. It's gonna be a pretty so well time, let me tell ya. Okay, let's see. Making sure everything's good. It's time for the final match of the, f the first round. We're about to make magic. Because we're looking at some serious... Two of the strongest men in our entire federation are about to tussle. Yes, 2K14 does have a story creator. All right. Prepare yourselves, peoples. Prepare yourself. Because I don't think you're quite ready for the chaos that's about to rain down. Or for the sweet dance moves. That's right, everybody, from Diamond City. A man incapable of closing his mouth the entire way. It's Wario! Yeah! Are you hearing the sweet beats? Are you hearing? Are you hearing? Are you hearing the sweet beats that Wario be bringing? I don't think you do. He's gonna win. Oh, he's got the dance. He's got the style. He knows what's up. He's here to bring the pain. And he is obscenely strong. So we're gonna need somebody else of a stout nature to be able to handle his crazy awesomeness. Let there be absolutely no doubt. Only one man could ever possibly manage to pull, to even maybe possibly stand up to such an almighty power. Straight from friggin' Dragon Quest Eight. I always get Roman numerals wrong, doesn't matter. It's Yangus, the bandit with the heart of gold. He's here to fight for his governor. He's gotta fight the gov, or not fight the gov, fight for the gov. He's here. All 732 million tons of him. Are you prepared? I don't think you are. Yangus is here, gov. Koi, blimey. All right. Let's see. Need. The final fight of the first round has begun. As I finally found some music. Yangus, actually shorter than Wario. Not sure. Well, I guess Yangus is really short, but so is Wario. So I'm not entirely sure how that went about. Doesn't really matter. He stepped on him. He friggin' stepped on him like a big cushiony cushion that he, that is his stomach. Oh lordy, he can lift Yegus over his head like it ain't no thing. I think they call that like an electric chair or something. I feel like a, the, the wrestling commentator should probably know what wrestling moves are. Doesn't matter. Oh lordy. It's the two Huskies, but they most certainly are not Ruskies. Yangus, not too used to fighting hand-to-hand -hand styles. Oi! He's more used to using a gigantic honking and club, but it's okay. He's not out of this yet. Although, admittedly, it's beginning to seem like a bit of an uphill battle. The test battles I did many years ago may gave me the impression that he was actually very, very good. But then again, so is Wario, so who even knows? He lift him, he tossed him! Like a big fat pile of I don't even know what. Yes, I know Yangus has the fisticuff skill tree. 
Don't talk to me like I don't know every in and out of that that there is to know about Dragon Quest VIII. Thank you. He just didn't... He needs to reallocate his skill points. He forgot to. He was a busy guy. 2K14 does have the motorcycle intro, but you have to pay for it. Otherwise, yeah, Wario would probably would have had that. There we go, Yangus. Okay, the Wario appears to be very agitated. Yangus is gonna have to stall out that motive that, that brief boost of massive power that Wario is about to dish out. Oh, holy hell, it's, I think that's called a tree of woe. Okay, but the tree of woe is kind of broken in this game and barely works. Wario! Oh, holla holla, cash doll the millionaire. He's coming in hot. Yangus, is he down? Is he out? No, Yangus himself bringing up the pain, but Wario playing this intelligently, going outside of the ring where you can't actually do comebacks. Yangus, a bit confused by what's going on and apparently more than willing to just kind of stand there as Wario sets up his master plan. Holy crap! The headset went flying! Wario spanking the camera! Holy dooly! Oh my god! Yangus, less than pleased about this. I think the camera might have been broken. Never mind, it got fixed. Holy hell, I did not realize Wario could get that kind of distance. Oh! Oh, sweet, merciful Horgo! <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a blow. Wario! Wario wants the paycheck! There is nothing Wario wants more than the pay that only can be given to the man who is champion of the FTWF. However, he keeps doing his finishers outside the ring where where pins are not capable of being done. Which is pre pretty bad. That was a pretty dumb idea on his part. Yangus did not get to use his comeback. That's a bummer. But what's he got here? A massive slam jam. Both men giving it their absolute all. If Yangus has proven at least one thing, it's that he... Good lord, can he take a beating and keep standing up? But Wario has proven... Oh no! Oh no! He's sitting on him! He's sitting on him! Woo! Yangus just barely managing to get out from underneath the vice-like grip of Wario's butt cheeks. No mere mortal has ever been able to manage that before. Although Wario is still very heavy and rather difficult to get into a grapple. Oh no! Not again! Not like this! Not like this! And with that, Wario takes it on home. No mortal has ever been able to get out of Wario's patented butt vice technique. Yangus managed to crawl away from the first one, but in this first time in history, Wario had to pull out a second one. As my chair continues to try to murder me. Okay, okay, I fix it. You can't beat the Wastri loads of dosh. Lows of them on. Wario. Yangus, though. Come on, everybody. Give Yangus some credit. He took way more punishment than anybody ever thought would be humanly possible, but he still managed it. And only just now do I realize the irony. Of my of, of my of my Wario loading screen and yes yes you do Night Nightstar don't be a jerk Come, okay kayfabe shattered be nice Nightstar I like Yangus and there's no shame in losing to Wario all right it's time for round two thank you that's all I want 
And now that you know everybody on the team, or, you know, the various teams... <laughs> Welcome! We've got the brackets, everybody! Who will be next? Which will be the first round of the, uh, the, the first fight of the second round? These are the questions we must ask ourselves. Because it's going to be... All right, well, I guess it's going to be Wario again. <laughs> All right, whatever. Oh, also, you got, I guess you get to see what the brackets are now. So that's nice. Yeah, I guess we're going full Nintendo v Sega up in here. That's true. We're only halfway done. Wait, make sure that I actually didn't... Uh, sol I have to make sure that I didn't... Uh, uh, bleh, set to uh, control the character or anything. I have to go specifically to... There we go. Select the arena. We don't want none of that nonsense. We need our arena. All right, everybody. I hope you're prepared. It's time. Oh, yes, it's time for another round of combat. It's going to be pretty swell. I hope you're not tired of Wario because he's back. He's going to mess some fools up. Or maybe Wario will be taken down by the white hot passion of a man who only lives for the Sega Saturn Shoe. Looks like the audience is unsure of who to root for in this particular situation. Both men have proven to be titans of power. But one man will have to relent, and the other will move on. Luckily, Luckily, we were able to replenish Wario's stamina with some lovely garlic off-screen in the back uh, backstage, so he's back to his full fighting power. No stamina loss whatsoever. And of course, Segata fear feels absolutely no fatigue whatsoever because he's Segata, and I mean, that's just how he is. The question is, everybody, what passion is stronger? Is Segata's passion for the Sega Saturn stronger than Wario's desire to make Mad Bank? It's, it's completely unquestioned that both men love their preferred object more than anything in the world. But as I said before, someone is going to have to go down. And now I have to find music to play. Um, hmm. As this fight has begun! Putting money on Wario. Somewhat of an ironic thing to have happen. Neither combatant is giving an inch to start. Segata, it will not be grappled so easily, Wario. Your arms may be mad beefy, but good lord, that man is nimble as hell. Segata sizing him up, but he might have ended up taking too long. Oh! Some mild regrets from Segata, no doubt. Wario going in like a crazy man. Preparing himself. But Segata! He knows how to use his momentum and body mass to his full advantage. Wario pretty much just knows how to sit on people. It's pure, unadulterated power. 
and durability versus the never-ending tenacity that is Sega to Sanchiro, who just got mad dunked. Wario with a wild swing, ultimately landing on nothing. Oh, lordy who! It's a good thing Wario is wearing a helmet, otherwise I do believe his head would have been cleaved in half. Oh, he's in the legs! Oh, the legs! Not his tiny, stumpy, little, sad man legs! Wario has had enough of your shenanigans. He will continue to battle as you get mad dumped. We have a hater in the commentary booth, everybody. A pure hater, pure and simple. Everyone boo and shun that man. As Wario gets flipped like no one's business. Good lord, Segata able to lift and toss around the 400 pounds-ish of Wario like it's made of nothing. But Segata, Segata's not done yet. Oh! That's not technically a tube, that's just a normal pile driver. Which is good, because that wouldn't have made much sense. Anyway, Wario, he's, oh! Cash, cash, millionaire, holla, holla, get dollar Wario in the hizzity. Oh! Hit with the butt! Oh! All that weight crashing down! Oh, good lord, not this! Not to have a rotten day! How is a man meant to stand after such abuse? Holy hell, Segata! Still somehow pulling through! Battered, beaten! And crushed by a very fat man. He still stands. What is it gonna take? To put one of these fools down. Oh lordy. That move is probably illegal in real life. Good lord. Good lordy Lou my Ladies and gentlemen, Wario went in knowing, he went in knowing that he had to pull out every stop. He had to pull every last ounce of power he had in his very being to be able to handle Sagata. He just had to land blow after blow after blow in order to manage any sort of momentum and he made it count. Wario, moving on to the semi-finals. My God. I'm personally just really impressed. All right. We still got three more matches of the second round. Then the semi-finals and then the normal finals. The question is, which fight will be next? That's what we all need to wonder and think about. Uh, yep. Oh, there you go. That's what we're getting this time. Let me just uh, grab some Muzak to make sure everything is fine and dandy like it ain't no candy. There we go. People are really gonna have to bring out their all-star style if they actually want an attempt at being able to defeat Wario, because that guy is on an entirely different level. Alright. The next match. Luigi versus Dartfield. Ba -ba -bum -ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum. Bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da bum Let's do this. The green missile versus the red-eyed dragoon. Lordy, 
How are we going to... How is this even going to go down, guys? I physically cannot comprehend just what is going down. It's going to be bananas. This is probably the theme I should have gave Luigi to start with. But we're giving it to him now. Wario gives no dams. He just wants money. It's true. Some people in the audience think Luigi just might have only fluked a victory last time and against his last opponents. It's make or break time for this young man as he attempts to prove to the world that he's not just a total goof. That he's got the power necessary to pull through and become a champion. Just because you're clumsy as hell doesn't mean you can't be the world champion. No matter how terrified of everything you may or may not end up being. Luigi still with a very immense amount of doubt in his mind and, and body. But he's gonna do his best anyway. Of course, our, his opponent is no slouch in combat. Granted, his opponent was a 10-year-old boy who has more experience training things than he does actually fighting them, but it was still an impressive fight nonetheless. Dartfield returns into the ring once more so that he can bring that belt back home in style and everyone will be all like, hey, wow, Dart, you really are the greatest. That's what he's looking for. And hopefully he won't have to transform to do it either. Setting off that volcano pyro works. Also, Dart fighting another Nintendo character. I count Ash as a Nintendo character. I mean, he technically is. So, you know, just roll with it. Okay, we need some stylish music for this. Just give me a moment as Dart immediately charges right through like it's nothing. He doesn't even give a damn if the stupid chair makes my job infinitely more difficult in every single capacity. All I want to do is get to my music folder. Well, go! As Dart literally sits on Luigi's head. There we go. Now we got some, some hot licks going on here. Luigi had a bit of a slow start, but he is making it happen. Luigi definitely at a buff disadvantage. Dart working on the arm. He knows that those arms are necessary for many of Luigi's trademark grapple moves. As I'm very quickly approaching my threshold for this stupid chair and I'm feeling the urge to throw it out a window. Elbow to the gigantic schnoz. The schnoz. Darts managed to pick back up the momentum. But Luigi, well, he does have an established history as a comeback king. In the sense that he did it once. It's possible he might be able to pull out a large supply of, of, of whoop-ass at the last possible moment when we're least expecting it. As an excellent dropkick style move technique. As Dart rings of the damn, his, Luigi's damn neck out, by God. With the thump and a bumper, the thump and bump. Lordy. He's got him in a pin to the two count already. Luigi is in a bad way, especially with explosion soup. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. But Luigi still stands. Luigi with something to prove to the world. As he gets his head sat on, 
for the second time of this match. Luigi standing strong. Perhaps not thinking he might even be able to win, but he still wants to try and go the distance. He just wants to prove to the world that he can hang. It seems Luigi's years of being a punching bag to just about everybody everywhere has given him great tenacity in the face of butt whoopings. Luigi attempting his final stand. Busting out his all-powerful many Luigi kicks. Luigi doing his best. Could he be turning this thing around or is it too little too late? DDT right on the stylish hat. Luigi refusing to let up. Dart visibly frustrated. And that's all she wrote, my peeps. Luigi fought hard and powerful. But Dart's overwhelming power was just too much for him. I am conflicted, for I love both of these competitors equally. If nothing else, Luigi can go home with his head held high knowing that he still managed to go the distance. Mad respect to the plumber. What do you mean, what music is this? It's Dart's theme, you dingus. Even the heel commentator in the chat is saying that, hey, he might actually have a chance later. Who knows? Luigi just needs to go back and he needs to train. And when all is said and done, he just might. Just might be able to do the impossible. As I re-look for the next, uh, the themes, I need, I need the music. All right, everybody. It's a battle of the guys who constantly lost in all of the simulation fights that I gave them, and yet somehow both won their rounds here. I haven't the ever-loving slightest idea how. Seriously, no matter who I put Yosuke and Little Mac up against, they always somehow seem to lose. But they now when the chips are down and they're actually here, by God, they're going to make this count. As soon as I find what it is I need here. Oh, right, I used uh, this. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Okay, hang on. All right, everybody, it's time for the next match. Talk about a fight between power and speed. Little Mac was able to persevere in the face of Homestar Runner in the last round, being able to brutalize his way through his lightning-fast quick motions. However, Yosuke is in fact in an entirely different league altogether. Could Yosuke prove to be too... Wait, is that even the right song? Am I playing the right song? I am!
sorry for my terrible commentary. I'm not used to any of this. Speed versus more speed, the comment the, the comment section, the peanut gallery has decided to, to throw out. Fair enough. Yosuke was somehow managed to completely sidestep all of this competition to get to this point. Granted, only one opponent, but that was one more opponent than anybody anticipated him being able to do. So, holy hell, is he going to be able to pull up another upset against this strong competitor? I really don't actually know. as he busts out those fresh moves for the crowd once again. One thing that can certainly not be denied about Yosuke, he is a crowd pleaser. Everyone gets hype when he starts his boogie styles all up in the ring. Also, one of the only white guys I know, well, I guess he's Asian, but white guys I know who can pull off an accurate uh, hip-hop theme. So that's pretty great. Who shall persevere and move to the semifinals? Let's find out. Yosuke with a quick kick to the jaw, sending Little Mac into a full sense of security. It's possible Little Mac was underestimating him initially. Hard to blame him. He's definitely got just about every noteworthy advantage one could think of. But Yosuke does have a substantially large bag of tricks that he just might be able to pull out at a moment's notice. So far, he's proving to be a little bit tricky, but that's okay. Okay, everybody has to admit that that was cool. Yosuke is definitely a good dancer, and they're proving to be rad rather adequately decent <laughs> attacking moves at the same time. Yosuke has a lifetime of experience getting hit in the genitals. He definitely will not be put down by such a trivial blow. With a quick headbutt to the jaw, Yosuke has fallen to the floor and the pummeling has begun. Little Mac definitely has the one-on-one -on -one experience. But we all know Yosuke is chomping at the bit and has a lot to prove. And it's hard to deny his incredible maneuverability in comparison. Boom! Straight shot to the back. Little Mac falls back down to the ground. Yosuke pulling out all the stops he can manage. Yosuke completely botching that jump technique, or perhaps it was deliberate in order to activate his comeback maneuver. It's possible that said ability just might give him the edge he needs, but he needs to hit it before it wears off. Also, I think Little Mac might have missed that, I'm not entirely sure. Yosuke knew the risks of his high-flying fighting style. Oh! He got the comeback! Yosuke throwing everything he has into this very intricate technique! But he needs to capitalize with the Whisper and Inaba! Good lord, ladies and gentlemen, Yosuke proving to the audience that he is more than just a second fiddle. He will fight to his last breath. There are women watching. He will do all he can. Little Mac popping his comeback. 
Oh no! Yosuke might have been caught in the worst possible situation! Yosuke just might not be good. Oh, Yosuke still standing despite it. But it appears he might have gotten a touch overconfident. Little Max somehow ripping apart a desk even though he's wearing boxing gloves. That shouldn't be physically possible, but Little Mac is known for accomplishing the impossible. As Yosuke gives him a DDT, I think it was kind of hard to see. Oh, snibble snaps! Yosuke realizing he was taking things far too lightly. Laying the beat down on the outside of the ring, but it's already on the five count. They both make a madman's dash back into the ring. Yosuke was in second, which gave him an oh, which, oh no! Milo Mac had the opening, but Yosuke managing to do another flippin' thingamabobber. Yosuke, do you think this is a good idea? He lands it! Ladies and gentlemen, Yosuke truly giving it every bit of power he has. It appears Little Mac might be a little dizzy from that last blow. But he's w more than used to working under pressure. A move he no doubt learned from Bald Bull. Is Yosuke down? No! He gets up at the one count! Yosuke, per somehow managing to be a significantly tankier individual than anyone would have initially given him credit for. Oh no! A vicious pummeling from Little Mac. And Yosuke just might be running out of gas. Everything he's doing gets countered before he even gets the opportunity. Yosuke with the quick roll-up maneuver, hoping to sneak a pin win before Little Mac could react. Oh, he's busted out his best moves, ladies and gentlemen. Yosuke just might have a secret plan all along. Could he land this next excellent blow? The Whisper and Inaba! Ladies and gentlemen, this just might be the end of the match! Ladies and gentlemen! Yosuke! Somehow! Some way! Overcoming all odds! All statistics! Has defeated Little Mac and is moving on to the semi-finals! I'm sorry, everyone. I am... I am truly aghast. I knew Yusuke was nothing to sneeze at, but I truly did not anticipate this upset. Yusuke has successfully moved on to the semifinals. Going much further than all statisticians ever dared to hypothesize. Truly, only, in this particular establishment would you ever be able to see such tremendous abilities on display. It's time for the final match of the second round. It's true, Yosuke may have been able to surpass Little Mac, even if just barely, but now he has to go up against the titan of power that is Wario. Truly an uphill battle. But we shall approach that when in momentarily, yeah, we will approach that momentarily. 
For now, we have to go to the final fights of the of the second round of the King of the Ring tournament for the championship. Bomberman appears to be a little shaky-legged after his last bout with Linebeck. I wonder if this will affect his performance later. Bomberman is just here for a good time, ladies and gentlemen. It's all he set out to accomplish. And so far from what I've seen, he appears to be having exactly what he wanted. However, his opponent is no slouch. His fellow guy man in Rayman. And maybe this theme will be more fitting for him. I certainly hope so, because that last one was a major dud. Why, I do believe that he's managed to find an actual theme song for himself that is so much better in every regard. Could this extra theme music be what he needs to pull ahead of Bomberman and move on to the semifinals? The answer? Well, I don't even know what to tell you. We're about to find out, ladies and gentlemen. Who comes out swinging first? Bomberman with a quick grapple into the turnbuckle. But Rayman counters with a headbutt, of which he seems to be having a somewhat thing of a trademark with. However, Bomberman not giving him time to capitalize. An impressive grapple considering how little there is to grab on Rayman's person. Both men are out for a good time, but one of the, one is yeah, one's adventure is going to have to end. Only one man can move on to the semifinals. Keep in mind the winner of this match will be going up against Dart Field, who's proven himself to be a bit of a powerhouse himself. One has to wonder what's going through their minds. Bomberman starting things out rather well. It appears Bomberman might have been scouting Rayman out in his prior fight. He was also given more time to rest in the back room. These, adv these slight advantages just might add up to something tremendous, people. Rayman certainly not going out without a fight, however. Using his considerable lack of bulk as once again as a means to be able to dodge and evade his opponent's blows. I feel as if that should be an illegal technique. However, we don't discriminate in this particular federation. And he filled out all of the proper paperwork, so he's more than allowed in. And it's simply up to his opponents to find a way around it. Rayman, wailing on the body parts that he specifically wished he himself was a boner of. Perhaps a small tinge of jealousy in Rayman's blows against Bomberman. Considering the breakneck speed that of, of, of Rayman's popularity in recent years, I feel as if that's unwarranted. Bomberman continuing to show what that he means business. Rayman appears to be struggling to keep up.
As, as Bomberman slams him down with a power bomb, it proves to just not quite be enough to keep Rayman down. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Bomberman giving Rayman absolutely no wiggle room to perform. It's just one heavy hit after another. It appears some mind games are going on. However, Bomberman is a man of over 1,000 different forms of suplex and power bombs. Rayman really needs to step up his game if he hopes to be able to compete. It just appears that Rayman's completely run out of steam. Oh, with a jumping uppercut! By Jove, people! Rayman proving that he won't go down so simply. Oh, could this be it? No! Rayman managing to kick himself out. And finally, after what feels like a millennium, landing blows of his own. However, Bomberman just appears to be way too fresh. Stamping on that invisible elbow. That realistically shouldn't have done too much damage, honestly. But another power bomb. Could this tr be the end? Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, Bomberman has put down his fellow man and is moving on to the semifinals. Bomberman almost with something to prove, perhaps, to the world. I don't know what's going on through his mechanical mind at this moment in time, but it's clear. He, is all, he stands at this moment to prove that he is someone not to be taken lightly. Most fascinating indeed, everyone. And with that, round two has come to a close, and we have reached the semifinals. Two matches shall determine who the finalists are in the end. In order to facilitate Bomberman receives a small amount of rest, we shall be moving on to the next fight of Wario versus Yosuke. Wario has proven to be a gargantuanly massive threat to just about everybody almost steamrolling through just about everybody and everything in his path. Yosuke, on the other hand, has somehow managed to find a way to be constantly ups making major upsets. If he manages to do so this time, it will be the biggest one we've seen so far, and perhaps maybe even ever. I just can't say that I know for sure just how this fight is going to end. Hopefully, awesomely. We can only hope. As soon as I find all of the correct songs. Okay, hang on a second. Eh. Oops, it turns out I apparently accidentally gave Yosuke the wrong theme song last time. Whoopsie doodles. Well, what you gonna do? We shall correct our previous mistake. Truly, this fight is going to be something else. As has been stated before, from the word go, Wario has proven that he is simply an almost insurmountably large mountain of a man. Having already managed to defeat two opponents to get to this point, is it possible Yosuke has any chance to really be able to turn things around? This particular commentator simply cannot say. On paper, I'd say Wario has this fight down pat without any problems. However, again, Yosuke, twice now, 
overcoming the insurmountable, accomplishing the impossible. He's certainly proven his ability. But is it enough to manage to defeat Wario, of all people? I just can't say with confidence. This is easily Yosuke's biggest fight so far. He's already taken the entire audience of gas with just making it this far to begin with. However, with Wario's pure power and sheer size difference, I just don't know if there's going to be much for him to be able to do. If nothing else, Yosuke has certainly proven that he is more of a formidable contender than most would have ever given him credit for initially. Walking away from this fight as a winner or loser, I do believe he has made a statement. In my personal opinion, I believe that Yosuke just might have to purely rely on his overwhelming speed to be able to get any sort of grip on Wario. It's his only noteworthy advantage. Regardless, the first match of the semi-finals of the King of the Ring tournament have begun. A true David and Goliath situation. However, unlike the story of old, I just don't know if such an event can take place. Wario is simply massive in comparison. He's practically two Yosuke's in one. Wario. Clearly unrelenting amounts of power on display. The announcer forgetting to uh, add extra music because he is so engrossed in the, uh, in the storytelling that's going on here. Wario already proving to be a masterful, powerful man. Yosuke manages to land a blow, but he'll need so much more than that to topple this tower. A quick kick to the, to the front of the head, however, just might give him the opening he might need. Yosuke started things off slowly. However, that's exactly how it happened with his first two matches. It appeared he was completely outclassed in every regard before he managed to just pull things ahead without it in the blink of an eye. It's clear that Wario is able to brush off a very large majority of these blows, but all men do have a limit. And it appears Yosuke is utilizing his superior reflexes to hopefully counter the more predictable Wario. However, regardless of the amount of predictability that Wario might have, the strength behind his blows are just simply too powerful. For every one blow Wario lands on Yosuke, Yosuke has to land over 20 just to compete. Yosuke, however, is simply not going down without a quick fight. As he gives him the Juness Shuffle! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time we've seen Yosuke bust out his one of his signature moves. The Scion of Juness not going down so easily. But this battle, it appears almost insurmountable. However, Yosuke has definitely proven to be putting up more of a fight than I think anyone was going to give him credit for. But is it possibly enough? 
It appears Wario is just starting to slow down. Could all of the accumulative damage that Wario has taken over the course of the match finally caught up with him? However, Wario is known for his true tenacity and stamina. At any given moment, Yosuke could run out of power. A man can only go so quickly for so long before he simply has nothing left to give. Oh no! Wario, no! Wario, he's just a boy! He doesn't deserve this! No! Oh no! Wario! Wario! Pulling off a maneuver. Good lord, Wario, no! Yosuke! Somehow managing to pull through two brutal butt assaults! I've, in all my years of accommodating this program, I've never seen such a thing! However, it appears Wario has had more than enough! It appears he's just gotten frustrated. That anger could either lead Wario down the path of victory or in a path of pure recklessness leading to his eventual downfall. Yosuke, unsure of his chances at victory, simply wishes to let the world know that he will never be taken lightly after this night. Yosuke somehow managing to push Wario further than every other opponent that he's gone up against tonight. But it appears Wario still has far too much left in the tank. The Whisper in Inaba! Ladies and gentlemen, could the ultimate upset have taken place this day? Good Lord! Ladies and gentlemen! Holy Christmas Crab Crackers! Yosuke somehow has accomplished the truly impossible! The king of all upsets! The prince of all upsets! Taking down the steamroller that is Wario, the very favorite to win this entire tournament! It took every ounce of power that Yosuke had, but somehow some way, he somehow managed to beat Wario! The man who lost every single practice round! Over 15 fights I put him in to test his abilities and he lost every last one! Somehow managing to defeat the very most- the favor to win the whole tournament and making it to the finals! This is truly astounding! And no hyperbole! Holy hell, man! I thought that was gonna be one hell of a squash! But he's just kept going! Truly impressive. And now for the final semi-final battle. Dartfield versus Bomberman. Both men have fought in long and hard to get to this point. However, some in the audience have argued that their opponents were simply of not a high enough quality. Is it possible that these two have simply yet to even be challenged? Well, we're about to find out tonight. Some would say that Darts only managed to defeat Ash Ketchum and Luigi, a young child and a, and a scared second fiddle. Powerful warriors in their own right, no doubt. But this is obviously his biggest fight so far. Does he have what it takes to take Bomberman down and make it to the finals? Ex 
Excuse me! Audience, again! I am still in awe of the last battle! Truly, this is a night of upsets that cannot be rivaled! One of the final three competitors that we have here tonight are going to walk away the grand champion of the FTWF! And if I'm being entirely honest, I was not anticipating any of these three managing to make it this far! Bomberman has shown surprising tenacity in the face of combat. Having managed to take down both Bomberman... Uh, no, he is Bomberman, excuse me! Managing to take down Rayman and Linebeck before him. The question is, can he take on the unrivaled might of a Dragoon? Truly, both men's medal will be tested today. As this battle has begun. Ladies and gentlemen, the final match of the semifinals has begun. Bomberman starting strong with a quick kick and punch combination. Grabbing Dark by the arm. Bomberman coming in very strong to start. It appears Dark simply doesn't know what to do against such a person. He's never been many to fight robots before. All manner of magical beasties, perhaps, but a... A robot capable of spawning explosions? Usually that's Dart's forte. Bomberman busting out all manner of techniques that I did not even know he had. I will not lie to you people. I started this stream on a lark not knowing just what I was getting myself into. Bomberman's never-ending onslaught. Just blow after blow. Dart appears to be having trouble keeping up. As he finally lands his first notable blow of the match. I don't know what Bomberman is setting out to prove to the world. But it's clear that it means more to him than roughly anything. Did I accidentally give Dart manual control and he's incapable of fighting on his own? What exactly is happening here? Oh, wait, nope, he countered it. Okay, he does have control over his bodily functions. Congratulations on Dart. Could he finally be trying to turn this fight around? Bomberman, continuing his never-ending onslaught of attacks. Somehow, for some reason, Dart just simply doesn't seem to have the power needed to bring him down. He's already been resorting to... He has to resort to his comeback maneuver. But will he even manage to land the blow? Bomberman appears to simply just be way too quick! What can Dart possibly do? He's landed his comeback, but at this point I just don't know if it's enough! Dart's going to need to pull out every conceivable stop in his arsenal if he ever hopes to be able to match Bomberman at this point in the match. The 
the audience seems to be completely unaware of what to even think of this fight. Is this truly happening, ladies and gentlemen? I don't understand what happened. Dart, who had appeared so powerful up until this entire point, was completely annihilated. There's simply no dancing around the up subject. Dart was entirely stomped. Was he having an off day or is Bomberman simply that powerful? How is such a thing even possible? But with that, Bomberman has surmounted the mountain of contenders. And he's moved on to the finals for the championship. Truly a final two I never would have anticipated in my entire life. To say that this is an unexpected turn of events is quite frankly... Absurd. <laughs> I truly do not understand how this particular matchup has reached this far. But both men have proven to be the best of the best at this moment in time. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the final match of the night. This, tonight's winner will not only be crowned the King of the Ring, but the FTWS's first ever world champion. This is truly going to be something special. Despite all of the abuse and punishment that Yosuke has gone through this entire tournament, he still comes out dancing for the crowd. I believe, from what I can gauge from the audience, it appears that Yosuke is the favorite to win. People have been almost enraptured by his ability to pull out victory from the jaws of defeat, while Bomberman seems to be considered a bit of a pushover in some sense. I dare not even speculate just how this match is going to end, ladies and gentlemen. Yosuke has fought long and hard and defeated mountains and titans of men. Could it be a simple robot? Is the final nail in the coffin that stops this inspiring rain? Bomberman first stepped foot into this federation. A complete unknown. Nobody knew what to make of this man. And yet, despite it all, he still continuously managed to defeat everyone he went up against. To the point where he's actually at the very end. He is in the finals with a very real chance of becoming the first ever FTWF champion. Standing in his way, Yosuke. The young man, capable of insurmountable odds. I simply do not know, at all, what to make of this situation. Who will be the ultimate winner? We need some suitably, fittingly epic music in order to be able to truly comprehend this. Yosuke starts out strong. With a quick flurry of kicks. As a beast of a song blares through the speakers. Yosuke has gone through so many fights up to this point. It appears that he simply refuses to let Bomberman get the edge. However, Bomberman also appears to not be taking Yosuke lightly either. Both men have seen the other's fights, 
and have a fair idea of what to expect from both. With a quick series of chops to the chest, Bomberman falls. Yosuke appears to be going 100 miles an hour straight out of the gate. Bomberman simply refuses to let things go by so quickly with a quick scoop and slam. Blow for blow, counter by counter, it appears these two are evenly matched. One can only wonder what's going through the minds of these two competitors. They have potential to make history as the first ever person to ever wear the heavyweight belt. Although I doubt I'll call it that because these two are clearly not heavyweights. Yosuke with a flip a doodle kicker Rooney. Except with his elbow and not a kick, so I don't know why I said that. Bomberman with a quick throw. And with that, Yosuke might have dislocated his shoulder. Bomberman going all out in the hopes of not giving Yosuke the edge he needs in order to begin his comeback. Yosuke always seems to do better in the later half of a fight. But he has to make it there first. He's busting out his spinniest of moves. His flippiest of kicks and drops. Yosuke with a quick and nimble counter that I don't even know if it's physically possible. Yosuke quickly taking time to set up the table outside the ring. Will he possibly be able to take advantage? It appears Yosuke just simply doesn't think the risk is worth it. As he finds it somehow hard to grab onto Bomberman's ginormous head. Or perhaps it was all intentional to set Bomberman into a frame of mind that he didn't understand. Yosuke! With a flip off the ropes and through the table, Bomberman! Lord! Literally and figuratively! Bomberman may still be up and fighting, but it's impossible to deny that it had to have done some damage. The Whisper in Inaba! And our first finishing move of the match has begun! Is it already over? Not quite. Bomberman still stands tall. However, Yosuke has simply has too much on the line to let it end now. Bomberman setting up for his own finisher! An exploding power bomb! Could Yosuke have been taken out already? Yosuke stands tall once more with the Juness shuffle! Ladies and gentlemen, Yosuke is pulling out every possible stop. He simply has nothing left. If Bomberman isn't finished with that, I simply don't know. Bomberman! Striking up with a comeback! Yosuke needs to act fast if he hopes to actually win! If Bomberman gets his hands on him, who knows what could happen? Yosuke apparently too quick for Bomberman to be able to track! Yosuke popping his own manner of comeback! And with a dropping neck breaker! Ladies and gentlemen, I believe the next fatal blow might be the end! Yosuke landing his comeback! Could this possibly be it? Do we have our first ever champion? 
Ladies and gentlemen! I cannot believe my eyes! At the end of the tournament, only one man prevailed! Nobody dared even dream of such a possible outcome! But Yosuke, Captain Resentamon, the Saiyan of Juness, stands triumphant among everyone else! As the first ever FTWF King of the Ring champion and undisputed champion of the Federation! Ladies and gentlemen, history has been made this night! Yosuke defying all odds and expectations from going from the premier jobber of the practice matches to champion of the entire federation! Stand tall and proud today, Yosuke! For you stand as a champion today. But don't be cocky. There are plenty more people in this locker room that are raring to go and itching to take your belt. Who knows what might happen later. My goodness, what a night! I hope you all had a fantabulous time! As the screen slightly fades out, Yosuke may have won this time, but now the entire Federation is up, up against him. Will he be able to defend what he has worked so hard to accomplish? I suppose we'll see next time. I hope you all had a great time, and I'll see you all then.